One more Lewis dot diagram with a little different twist in it too, but again, we know the drill. This compound is hydrogen cyanide, uh, CN is a polyatomic ion, the cyanide polyatomic ion with a negative one charge. When you combine it with metals like sodium and potassium and calcium, you get a solid ionic compound. But when combined with hydrogen, as in all cases, instead of having an ionic compound, you've got a molecular compound because the hydrogen is going to form a covalent bond, not an ionic bond. It's very difficult for an H plus to deal with things, and we'll deal with that when we work with acids. This is a gas uh, some people can smell as being slightly almond flavored, but it's a quite toxic. It messes with the mitochondria, it gets rid of an enzyme, and you can't make ATP, uh, which is not a good thing. Okay, here we go. Let's, you know, the 10 valence electrons, that's a piece of cake, 1 plus 4 plus 5, 10 valence electrons. We draw our little HCN here, and hydrogen will always be on the outside of things. It'll never be in, in the center. Uh, deciding whether the nitrogen is the center or the carbon is the center you'll need to be able to do formal charges, which comes later. But typically, carbon's going to be the center of things. If you've got carbon somewhere, it's going to be near the center. So let's go on to our next diagram, or next part that we all know. We, we draw our bonds. We put four electrons in bonds. We have six remaining. And those six remaining electrons, you put them on the outside atoms, except hydrogen is our exception that does not need an octet. It's only first energy level, it can only hold two electrons. As soon as a bond's put in, you can forget about it. Hydrogen's all by itself, it's gonna be good, so it's the nitrogen that we're gonna have to take care of. Not the carbon, we always do the surrounding atoms first, so here we go. There's my six electrons, I subtract them from my total, there's nothing left. We have the octet for nitrogen, but you know, carbon doesn't have its octet, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of manipulating here. I'm going to grab my little item here and take a couple of electrons from my nitrogen to make a second covalent bond. Now carbon is sharing the pair of electrons with nitrogen. And still carbon doesn't have its octet and <laughs> hydrogen is not going to help us on this one. So you're going to have to grab another pair of electrons. And this is the first time we've made a triple bond where we end up making two pi bonds. And there we are. This is a, uh, a, it's got more bond energy than a regular thing. And so here we go. Here's our carbon with its triple bond. Now, again, one of our difficulties with our Lewis dot diagram system is that it doesn't differentiate. You know, these lines look the same all the way around. You have to remember that the first bond in is the sigma bond. And we have a sigma bond, the first bond for hydrogen carbon, the first bond for the carbon and nitrogen. These two new bonds, pi bonds, which are quite different really. Uh, now those, you know, I'm going to draw in a, a little line to sort of cross those guys out because they're not used in our count to find the shape of a molecule. There's only two things around our carbon, our central atom. It's got this and there are no extra pairs of electrons around here this concentrated section, so our steric number is only two. So our hydrogen cyanide is here uh, with pi bonds, sigma bonds, and that's the way it's structured. And again, using a very simple system, you come up with a very, very accurate drawing of what this hydrogen cyanide molecule is going to look like. All right, that's done. Four minutes and we've got it taken care of.